Hello. Hello. Welcome to Queers Gone By. My name's Kate Butch. And I'm Caitlin Powell. And this is the show where we watch nostalgic film and TV, we eat some nostalgic snacks, and we ask, are these the things that made us queer? Today. Today. We... <laughs> <laughs> we had an experience. <laughs> It was a lot that happened. Yeah. Um, And at first, very little happened, and then too much happened. (laughs) (laughs) I was very excited for this. You were. And And um, I vaguely remember watching this, but I wasn't like, oh my god, but I'm glad you made us watch this. (laughs) If anything, this is a lesson in don't get your hopes up. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, Before that, shall we have our um, kinder surprise? Oh, sorry. (gasps) You ruined the surprise. (laughs) It's not a surprise, is it? So I got, nost- I, got, I got distracted because I think someone's maybe trimming their hedge. Oh. Oh. Oi, oi. It's a kinder surprise. Yeah. Um, you might be thinking to yourself, but Catherine, you're a <laughs> vegan. Uh, but we get two unboxings. <laughs> Kayla's going to have the egg. Am I just going to bite the top off and then no, hand you the... No, you can tap, you can crack it in half or oh, shatter it or... Oh, like a little. Like, ooh. Like a little. And then I'm going to have the toy inside. How am I going <laughs> to... ASMR. Oh, oh. Nom nom. Oh, how is it? It's so sweet for something so thin. <laughs> Same. Thank you, Kira Knightley. Thinny legend. <laughs> Thinny legend. I can't get the... Oh, there we go. Do you want your toy? Thank you. In my little yellow capsule. Mm. Which you may remember. Oh, oh. Oh. It's a fucking race car, lads. Mm. I'm going to assemble it. On air. Mm. Oh, thanks for those helpful instructions. You put one end on the other end. Air smart. Air smart. Does it just... Does, can it pull back? Oh, no. Just... Oh. That's it. It's a little race car. <laughs> it's it. red if you're interested. <laughs> um, That's a bit of an anticlimax. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Is the chocolate any nicer? It's good. It's like I said, very sweet. Mm. Well, that was fun. I love that there's a white chocolate. You get the best of both worlds. Mm. What's your favourite chocolate? My favourite chocolate between white and milk. Yeah. I mean, I assume you can get vegan versions of... Well, actually, I really like a Bourneville recently, Ooh. which I know is like dark, but it's quite like milky dark. Mm. Milky toast. Milky toast. Throw it back. Mm. Um, so, we are watching... <sighs> Story makers. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine, imagine. a story. With They're... a friend of the pod, Danny John Jules. Yes. Which, he's... I mean, he's absolutely no friend of this pod. But he's been <laughs> on it before. Not on it, Didn't but... Didn't he beat up a bin man? Yeah. Yeah. Anger <laughs> issues, Danny John Jules. <laughs> Listen back to the MI High episode if you haven't. Yes. Um, he's working through the night till the rising sun. Mm-hmm. No one's asked him to. No. <laughs> if anything, it's voluntary. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> You're paying you, Danny. Um, he's joined by He's just his... happy to have somewhere to sleep. <laughs> he's joined by his horrible goblin friends, <laughs> Jelly and Jackson. What very, animals are they? What creatures are they? Very us. I'm very much a Jackson. Yeah, I'm very much a... What was the other Jelly. One? Jelly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, um, if you haven't seen the story, mate, because basically what happens is there's a, it's a library. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a little librarian tapping away on a computer. Yes. She gets up and there. leaves. Um, she leaves and then the clock turns to midnight mm-hmm. um, which if I if anything they're not working through the night no they're working from midnight someone who uh, someone who actually works nights would have words yes <laughs> also spoiler alert the episodes are 15 minutes long yep. and are in real time so <laughs> yeah. they finish at quarter past midnight mm-hmm. you're not working you're working at night <laughs> you're not working through the night yeah <laughs> you're not really working <laughs> You're fucking about for 15 minutes at night. At night, yeah. Doesn't really fit in the song. Yeah. But <laughs> That's my song. Fucking about in the night till the rising. No, fucking about in the night till quarter past 12. Yeah. <laughs> story makers, story, story makers. makers. Um, and then midnight happens mm-hmm. and um, Milton Wordsworth, Danny John Jules, mm-hmm. materialises. In a crushed velvet, like mauve suit with on the cuffs and like the collars and everything mm-hmm. got letters written on it <gasps> oh oh it's, it's camp yeah it's not great but it's camp <laughs> it's camp um and he's like oh and the the computer changes into the story machine oh yeah i don't they didn't say what it was called i thought you were about to say they didn't say how it works i was like it's not real science <laughs> <laughs> it did remind me did you ever watch bagpuss yes i did do you remember the marvelous mechanical mouse organ 
I the do. The marvelous mechanical mouse That's organ. organ. Um, and People then, have requested bag puss. We should do bag We should puss. do bag puss. Yeah. That's my gender. Hmm? Bag puss. <laughs> furry old cloth cat. <laughs> <laughs> Furry old cloth dog. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> and the cat in this relationship. <laughs> um, and there was an episode of Bag where mm-hmm. they had a chocolate biscuit factory, <gasps> or like a little that. chocolate biscuit machine, Ooh. and it was like, what's it made of? Breadcrumbs and butter beans. <laughs> and they put the breadcrumbs and butter beans at the top, and then yeah. they were like. <laughs> um, do the mechanics and stuff yeah. and someone just got a chocolate biscuit and poked it through a hole like <laughs> look we have made the chocolate biscuits Love and Mac was like oh my god and that prick of a yeah, but what's the bird Professor Yaffle oh I don't remember it's like a wooden bird or something oh he's like, I don't think that's right yeah. and the mic's like no it is with crumbs and butter beans <laughs> we promise we promise you <laughs> That could be the one we want. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this machine happens. You mm-hmm. push it in it. Yeah. Books come out. Um, and Milton Wordsworth's like, hi, it's me, Milton Wordsworth. Mm-hmm. Do you want to make a book? Let's do it. And, and then it... he winks. <laughs> and it is the worst time I've ever had. <laughs> I quite enjoyed the wink. Okay. It made me feel quite special. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just because someone makes you feel special doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, and then they're having a conversation. Oh, Jack. Oh, I have qualms about this conversation, okay? Yeah. So Jackson is like, where's jam from? And Milton is like, I'm going to conjure you some jam. If it's jam, what do you want? I'll give you some jam. <laughs> and conjure some jam. And Jackson's like, yeah, but I asked, I asked where jam comes from. I didn't actually want some jam. <laughs> which is the straightest relationship I've ever seen <laughs> on TV. Also, Jackson's like, I saw the children eating jam sandwiches at the library today. I'm like, where have you fucking been, Jackson? Like, Hiding in the shelves. Because <laughs> I thought maybe they, were, they might have been like toys in the library, but you yeah. didn't see that. What do you mean? You don't see them like. No, but they're quite toy like. Uh, yeah, they're very like. They're, they're toys from Ikea. Yeah. And you're not really sure what they are. Toys you give to a dog, not a child. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, oh, well, I'll show you where jam comes from. Berries. <laughs> oh, side note, this episode, we chose it because it was called Berries and Beans. <laughs> Are you berries or beans? Thank yourself. <laughs> I'm definitely berries. I don't know what I am. I feel like I'm also a bit of a berry. You're a bit of a berry. I think you're also a bit of a bean. Okay. A bit fruity. A bit... Practical. <laughs> Practical. <laughs> <laughs> no, just pure fruit. <laughs> <You are. laughs> A fruity owl. <laughs> um, and um, they come from berries. Let's show you some berries. Mm-hmm. And he puts the jam sandwich in the machine. Yeah. Breadcrumbs and butter beans. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I'm such a bean. I wouldn't really stand for this nonsense. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whereas you're all over it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, they're making a story out of a jam sandwich. Side so note, I fucking love a jam sandwich. Love a jam. I have some jam. I can make you a jam sandwich. <gasps> How exciting. Very I remember in my cupboard, we, mm-hmm. ha- I, we still haven't tried it. Oh, you haven't tried it. What? The, the Bil- have you tried the bilberry jam in my cupboard? No, I haven't. You haven't told me you have bilberry jam in your cupboard. I definitely have at some point. This is such a... Do you have bilberry <laughs> jam in your cupboard? Um, I can, Mothers well, I can, everywhere I can, are concerned yeah. about the bilberry jam in their cupboard. <laughs> That's you're, what BJ stands for, isn't it? <laughs> you're the bilberry jam in the cupboard. Do you want a BJ? <laughs> Is your child texting about Bilberry Jam? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Amazing. Um, um, so uh, they put the jam sandwich in, and then the different types of books flash up. Yeah. Um, there's one about a spaceman. Mm-hmm. There's other ones. Yeah. There's one we'll get to in a second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the most iconic one. <laughs> but first up, it's a playbook. Yeah. No silver linings to be seen anywhere. I was like, this is clearly a documentary. <laughs> And it's a shit one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Where is the playing? Henry and his mum decided to buy some strawberries. Good for fucking them. Yeah. <laughs> go do it then. Sure. But they don't go to the shop. Oh, no. Um, they go to a pick-your-own. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been to a pick-your-own? Of course I have. I bloody, I've forgotten all about pick-your-owns. Love a pick-your-own. Do they still exist? Yes. Oh, <laughs> should we go? Yeah. Field trip. Yeah. Literal field trip. Where, how would we get to a field in London. Where do you go? I don't know. Shall I Google? <laughs> sure. Um, um, if you haven't been to a pick your own, basically, they give you a box. And you, you pick, pick your own. Your own. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's kind of like a buffet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but a healthy 
be buffet. But it's fruit. <laughs> Where to pick your own fruit near London? Let's have a look. Fruit buffet. That's my Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> That was the working title for Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Enfield. Where's that? Near London. Oh. There are only two genuine pick your own farms that we know of within London. One for North London and one for South. <gasps> That's us. Um, um, Hewitt Farm. Okay. Orpington. Cool. Gooseberries. Goose. Red currants. Fucking love a gooseberry. Also spinach. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and peas. Oh. So strawberries, gooseberries, raspberries, red currants, black currants, also spinach, Swiss chard, peas, broad beans. Wouldn't we need to go in autumn then? Yes, I yes. think we should, we should go. Next autumn. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it. Yeah. We'll be going there then. Um, yeah. If you've never been to Pickery, yeah, you just get a, a punnet. Yeah. Punnet, good word. Punnet. Um, pick your own. Yeah. Um, and then you weigh it and you weigh and pay yeah. at the end. It's great. Um, it is great um, if you abide by the fucking rules, uh, which Henry straight up does not. Yeah. Henry just keeps taking the strawberries and eating them. Mm-hmm. You might be paying for that. Yeah. You, you, can, you can't wait and pay that. You bet it. Mm-hmm. Wait him. <laughs> wait the them when they come in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's how you should do buffets. <laughs> I do remember, um, like in the supermarket, if I was going around in the supermarket with my mum, and she'd get like a Are bit like a... Are you one of those eat in the supermarket people? Rarely. Okay. The only thing is mushrooms. Sorry? Mushrooms. No. You get like a little tub of mushrooms. Yes, I know. You keep the barcode intact. So but you, you can just get... eat mushrooms. A raw mushroom's great. Yeah, but don't you need to wash them? Well, we get to... The, this is what I was going to mention. Oh, okay. Well, once they've weighed and paid, they go home. And it's like, the strawberries need a good wash. Mm-hmm. Same. But um, <laughs> I've never washed any fruit or vegetables. What? Sometimes it has literal mud on it. Yeah. What? Give a shit. Oh, my God. You're eating shit. <laughs> what am I, Friday nights? <laughs> Fucking hell. No, I just... I've never washed them. Okay. Your life's too short. Yeah, eat mud. Live outside. <laughs> Stop reading. <laughs> Don't talk to anyone. Live in the woods. That sounds like my dream. Yeah. <laughs> Just too drag to some chickens, I don't know. <laughs> Do it to the little mushrooms in the dark. <laughs> Hello. Uh, That's a Lady Gaga song. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms in the dark. Okay. Dance in the dark. Don't worry. <laughs> Do you know that one? No. no. I know the film Dancer in the Dark with Bjork. Isn't it horrible? Horrifying. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen it, but... Electric chair. Um, Sorry? Oh, so I she's... I thought she's just blind. She's a blind to, woman. Like, she gets convicted of doing something. I thought she has to, like... She gets forced to become a sex worker because she needs to pay for her son's something. Tuition? Yeah. But at the end, she's accused of, like, killing someone. <gasps> did she do it? No. <gasps> I think maybe her son did it. Oh, my God. I can't remember. But at the end, she gets executed. The sun sounds But Joel like, Grey's in it. The sun sounds like a waste of time. The sun may also be like five, I can't remember. I don't care. <laughs> it's quite sad, though. Okay. And the way that it's filmed is like, scary. Is it like Last One Cheer or something? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well. And there's songs in it. Oh, really? There's like a tap dance. Fun. In the in trial. In a sort of, shape trial. of water kind of way. I haven't seen Shape of Water. Sorry? Isn't it just like, round? Or like... What? Depends where you are. Like a lake is round. And oh my like god! A river is like a rectangle. <laughs> well, I haven't really thought about this, but isn't water by nature fluid? So the shape of water is fluidity. It's whatever the container. It's we in. stand Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen it, but um, oh I have seen Dance with the Dark. Okay, which is more than you have. So <laughs> no, it's, it's equal numbers. <laughs> level pegging. Yes, yeah, level pegging. Anyway, I've never washed fruit because. I don't give a shit. But here's the thing. I'm a Mm -hmm. vegan-ish. I don't eat meat. Yeah. You're more likely to get food poisoning from, like, meat and shit, aren't you? It's not about food poisoning. It's about eating literal dirt. It's got nutrients in it. Oh. Okay. I'll lick an arsehole for free. (laughs) Uh, You heard that correct, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) And everyone in between. Everyone's got an arsehole. Everyone with an arsehole. Yeah, everyone with literally... Every arsehole. But I'm you're, like, you're welcome. I don't know. Gay people do some fucked up shit. Sure. And like, so I'm sure so do straight people. I don't yeah, want no. to think about that. Yeah. Um, but, but like, oh, would you lick a clean arsehole? Oh yeah. What about dirty arsehole? Depends. Okay. I'm just Depends interested. on whose arsehole. So you you'd lick a 
top. I'd like a famous dirty arsehole. Dirty arsehole. Eat him, okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, hmm, okay. Yeah. I'd just be like, can you have a shower? I don't know. I would, yeah, I'd be like, preferably. Yeah. But at the same time... Uh, but, like, human beings do a lot of, like, gross shit. Mm-hmm. I just think like it's we, not difficult to run We expel our mucus tap. into a piece of fabric. Okay, but if you had the option to run the arsehole under a tap for five seconds, <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? You don't want a wet arsehole. You can try it afterwards. Get a paper towel. <laughs> Why are you washing your fruit for five minutes? Five seconds. Oh, five seconds. Five. Oh, it's okay. a five minutes. I wasn't really listening. I meant five seconds. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I hope, like... It, give it, you give get it a rinse. Fruit. And then you have to use a piece of toilet roll, not toilet roll, kitchen roll. I just... Dab it down. I feel like we're, I feel like we're never going to... Actually, no, I'm calling you out for that. Kate just dabbed. Um... <laughs> right, I think we should put the, put the Instagram. Do yeah. you wash your fruit veg before you eat it? If it's, like, if it's not dirty, I'm not going to... Yeah. It. If it's got, like, mud on it. How much fruit are you buying with mud on it? Vegetable, like mushrooms and shit. Always has mud on it. Not always. Okay, from the Aldi down the road it does. Well, we never went to Aldi. Oh, okay. This is Morrison's. Uh, Safeways, actually. <laughs> oh my God, have they gone under? They went under about 13 years ago. Really? <laughs> and Summerfield. Do you remember Summerfield? I do remember Summerfield. Mm-hmm. My nan went to Summerfield. The Summerfield in our town became a Waitrose, and the oh, Safeway right. became a Morrison's. I see. Right, um, should we talk about story fact. makers? <laughs> <laughs> and then he has, he washes the strawberries. Yeah. And they're like, they're sorting out the strawberries. They're all putting them all in a colander. Putting them in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no sorting. Yeah. Um, um, and then they have strawberries and cream, mm-hmm. which is fine. Fair. I never really liked strawberries and cream. Do you not? I like, I preferred strawberries with a bit of sugar on. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. And then oh. I've, I discovered, don't know why, uh-huh. probably someone bougie yeah. told me, strawberries, a bit of sugar, uh-huh. and a bit of balsamic vinegar. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're welcome. The bank. Did you ever used to just cream together butter and sugar and eat that? Uh, no, but if I was ever making a cake, I was like, why are we cooking this? <laughs> just eat it. Just eat it. <laughs> We're at Maxi uh, from Tracy Baker. <laughs> that's what I thought adulthood would be, just making myself cake mix and eating it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've yet and to do it. Like? I've yet to do it, so maybe today's the day. What's, what's the reality of adulthood for you? <laughs> Council tax. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> expensive fuck it up anyway that's the end yeah. of fucking Henry's story of the documentary <laughs> fuck you Henry <laughs> um, but then we get the iconic oh yeah they're like um, well, they're looking at pictures of oh yeah like, oh so strawberries grow on the ground um, but what, a, what a, I thought things grow on trees and like yes apples and pears mm-hmm. stairs um, but, then, but what about that tree in the middle it doesn't look very fruity and we were like, hello. Like. All right. <laughs> I love fruity puns. Fruity puns are great. Welcome to the stage, fruity puns. Yeah. My favourite way of describing like anything camp that's happening is fruity business. <laughs> that's some fruity business. <laughs> if I have a cat, I'm going to call him fruity business. Fruity business, the cat. Fruity business. <laughs> Obsessed. Yeah. Or two cats <laughs> called fruity and business. <laughs> Give one little... Fruit in the front, business in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. It's anyway. always business in my back. Um, <laughs> and that's... Uh, let's find out about this mystery tree. Yeah. Fruitless tree. Mm-hmm. Um, and they put it in the story machine and they imagine, 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 imagine a story. story. And then they flash up the different types of story that it could be. Mm-hmm. Better not be another fucking playbook. Nope. Or I'll lose my shit. <laughs> and oh, oh, what is it? It is, of course, Blue Cow. <laughs> it's blue, blue, Blue Cow, which is... You were so into this cow. I bloody love Blue Cow. She's a Campbell twat. Blue Cow <laughs> is a drag queen. Yeah. <laughs> very much so. Yeah. Well, I think um, it's very easy to identify with someone who's very different from the people around them. Um, and is... And is Marginalised. <laughs> we love to see it. <laughs> She's got a lash on. Yeah. Yeah, well, Blue Cow lives in a cow... In a cow? Lives, uh, uh, <laughs> blue Cow lives in a field. Yeah. With just other regular, regular cows. Regular cows. Also, I think all the other cows are male. I hate that. <laughs> I'm like, this is not she how was, the dairy industry also, works. This is the opposite. a horrible time. <laughs> or a great time, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. <laughs> Side note, um, male calves are shot in the head. Um, 
As soon have as you seen that video of like a dairy farm in America where they've put like a like a um like a lid on a cow so they can unscrew it and like look look inside the cow. Oh. It's fucking horrible. I don't like that at all. Drink oat milk as well. <laughs> Is oat milk the best one? Yeah. Yeah. Environmentally best speaking, yeah. yeah. Okay. Drink oat milk. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I mean, I still eat cheese, but <laughs> <laughs> you just had a kid direct, but like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like trying to be more. Vegan. Yes. I'm doing it's... my bit, and if everyone else did their bit, we'd have a lovely. Yeah, camp it's all not time. one person doing everything; mm-hmm. it's everyone doing something. Not everyone's Greta. Not everyone. Actually, she, what, what's she doing? She's, she's saying sailing. a lot. She's, what's she doing? She's sailing. Okay. She's she's a vegan. Okay. She gets to train. Okay. She doesn't drive or get flights. Well, she's also like twelve. So. She's Sixteen. Is she? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe even 17 now. What the fuck? <laughs> Those plats are not the plats of a 16 year old. <laughs> I'm not, you know, if you wear plats, that's great. I just. <laughs> wow. She's got she, 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 Amanda Thrip vibes. She does. Amanda Thrip. Greta Thunberg. <laughs> are those big tails, Greta? <laughs> I mean. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? You have. What is it? You have destroyed my childhood. That's it. I don't think Miss Trunchbull would like Greta Thunberg. No. Because <laughs> Miss Trunchbull's a Tory. It's true. She's also a queer icon. She's a queer Tory. Yeah. Which I know is a... It's like Scottish Tories. Scottish Tories. Ruth yeah. Davidson. And I'm all gay. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> um, so, Blue Fucking Cow yeah. is there. Um, Her is, full title. This is called Blue Cow and the Beanstalk. Mm-hmm. Because um, she wants to know what grows up higher than a tree. That's like, it. These trees are so tall, mm-hmm. but what's higher than a tree? So she goes to the bus stop, yeah. as anyone would. Of course. And she says to the bus driver, um, I want to go somewhere where the tree. The thing Why are you being Jodie Whittaker? Because she's northern. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> and she's like, Oh, um, I want to go somewhere where something's taller than the trees. And uh-huh. the bus driver's like, All right then. And then drives down the road yeah. and into a fucking acid trip. <laughs> There's a spiral. The, the background's rainbows. Yeah. Like, things are flying everywhere. It's a wonderful time. They're, they're just spinning out of control. Mm-hmm. Blue cat's on fucking E. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's having a great time. And then, <laughs> because obviously, <laughs> when you're on some kind of hallucinogenic substance, you find a rhinoceros climbing a beanstalk. Yeah, sure. Obviously. <laughs> <My gender. laughs> are you the rhinoceros, are you the beanstalk? Uh, what are you? Do you have to be I'm one each? <laughs> <laughs> the rhinoceros is the bottom. Oh, then I am first. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the rhinoceros is trying to climb a beanstalk, but keeps falling over because the beanstalk's all flimsy. Yeah. Um, so What they do is they, they say they'll climb up each side of the beanstalk so it will balance out which i don't think is how gravity works no also it's three-dimensional so they just fall another way surely i don't really yeah maybe blue cow lives in a 2d world maybe good for blue cow good for blue. <laughs> <laughs> so they get the beans well, they, they climb the beans so they try to get the top bean yeah but they don't they just fall yeah. so they slide all the way down the beanstalk mm-hmm. and they <laughs> and then all the beans fall off and yeah. at the bottom blue cow goes all those beans have popped off <laughs> I'm like, I know this yes. was in the early 2000s, but like, popped off. <laughs> and she goes, she goes on a come down. Yeah. Back on the bus. And then gets back to the fucking field <laughs> and says the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I actually found it really funny. Go she says on. to all the other cows. Get out. You'll never guess where I've been. <laughs> so angry absolutely thrilled with it <laughs> oh, oh I love a stupid pun stupid pun stupid pun oh I thought you'd be like stupid pun stupid, stupid pun. pun it's two weeks in a row that we brought up horrible histories <laughs> really oh yeah uh, right so they do a shit pun and then we they do a shit pun and then they finish that story yeah. that's, that's made that story's that, that's made yes. we're done um, and then Final story. Jacks, uh, Jelly and Jackson are there. Oh, yeah. Um, they're like, Jackson, you've nearly eaten all the jam. Oh, yeah. And like, a jar that would probably hold maybe a quart. Yeah. <laughs> several <laughs> pints. <laughs> is almost empty. It's basically bigger than Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, good on you, mate. Yeah. Um, and then Jelly's like, Milton, Jackson's been so greasy and eaten all the jam. Like, we're not going to fat shame Jackson. No. Not on my watch. Also, 
also, you didn't want nah. any jam. <laughs> if you wanted jam, that'd be a different situation. But you didn't want any jam, so move on. Yeah. Yeah. Also, there's at least half a pint of jam left. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and they're like, why have you not been sick, Jackson? Jackson's like, I don't know. Like, good for you, Jackson. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Maybe because like, spot, I Trotter. don't have a digestive system. Yeah. I'm just a hand in some fur. The jam's just falling out of him. <laughs> just some puppeteer's hands just covered in jam. <laughs> like That's... Cookie Monster. How does Cookie Monster eat the cookies? I don't know. Just mashes them around yeah. in his mouth. Blah, 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 um, right. And then um, <laughs> Milton takes the jam away. <laughs> and Jackson goes, The jam! <laughs> He's so upset. I would be as well. Yeah. I bloody love jam. What's your top jam? Top three jams. Right. I love an apricot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I knew this from the jam tarts that we oh, had yes. with Dick and Dom. Yes. Not with Dick and Dom, but <laughs> <laughs> they weren't um, there. Um, apricot. I do like a classic strawberry. There's a strawberry in my fridge right now. Oh. And then, something exciting, like a gooseberry or something, Ooh. you know? Like, I think you need a classic in there. Yeah. But I think something a little bit exciting. It does of jams. <laughs> it does out of jams. My mum came to visit, she brought me a mulberry jam. Oh, mm. exciting. Not, not as good as a bilberry jam. Okay. My top three. Mm-hmm. Um, bilberry. Mm-hmm. Um, strawberry. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, side note, I once made a blackberry chutney. Different from a jam? Yeah, because it was like savoury. Oh. Like, like sweet and savoury. Oh, to have with the cheese. Love that. <laughs> yes. Um, and then, does it count a marmalade? I was going to ask this. I think it does count. I think if, you, if you're allowed yeah. an apricot, I'm having a marmalade. But it's apricot jam. It's like orange jam. Yeah, okay. Good. I do like, my dad makes marmalade. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's really wholesome. Oh, yeah. Like Paddington Bear. Yes. Have you seen those films? I've seen the second one. Oh my god! And oh my, it was on at Christmas. I yeah. I, fu- I was weeping. My dad was weeping. They made me think that little bear was gonna drown. <laughs> I thought that bear was a goner. <laughs> if that was Shape of Water, <laughs> Sally Hawkins, like yes. <laughs> How did Paddington Two or Paddington One not get nominated for any Oscars? I don't know. Disgusting. Better what? Than... Not even like animated. Anything. Well, it's mainly live action, isn't it? But like, put it in best film, bitch. Yeah. Better than bloody once upon a time. There's little animated bear. <sighs> people, don't, people don't take family films seriously. Very upsetting. Don't take comedies that seriously. The fact that mm. Grand Budapest Hotel wasn't nominated is disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. The fact that... Well, I mean, Shrek won an Oscar. For animation? The first Oscar for best animated film, yeah. Wow. Deserved. Mm-hmm. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? In fairness, that To be fair, it. Shrek 1 is a masterpiece. It is. Well, and Shrek you know, 2 is... Are you Shrek 1 or Shrek 2? Not like, not your gender, but like... Well, in both of them you see him topless. Yeah. But which is your favourite? Because I think Shrek 2... Shrek 1 because he's a bit of arse. Okay. <laughs> but Shrek 2 has Jennifer Saunders in it, so... Oh, and Rupert Everett. Yeah. And Bag and Tunes. But Shrek 1 has the Shrek of the Swab karaoke dance party. I thought you'd forgotten what Bag of Chips' name was. <laughs> Bag and Tunes. Bag and Tunes. <laughs> um, I think I'm a two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Which do you prefer? Let's we'll do another poll. Yeah. <laughs> That dragon is camp. True. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And have you seen the musical? No. She's camp in that. Oh, wait. She's like a character, like a person. She's played by like three black women. What? And they sing like a Motown song. It's phenomenal. What, like it's Hercules or something? Kind of. But oh. they're all like, like, they've got puppets and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought it was just like But yeah, they all like sing together and I'm like, yes, the power that this has. I love that. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. okay. Watch, okay. watch Shrek the Musical. We'll do. It's quite good. Uh, and then they put the jam in the machine. Yeah. I don't and they know. have their final they imagine, story. They imagine a story. Which is possibly one of the most disturbing twists to a children TV show I've ever seen. Yeah. It was bizarre. It was a tale from far away. Yeah. And I tried to Google it and I thought maybe the far away was Russia. Okay. It's um, Robin the Bobbin. What's a bobbin? So you know like a sewing machine. Let's do a sewing, yeah, <laughs> yeah. right? Why is he a bobbin? Is that another? Is that a slang term? I'm gonna have to. If, it, is it a if slur? this is another nonce, I'm gonna be fuming. <laughs> Bobbin Urban Dictionary. Let's have a look. Um. Bob 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 it. Bob Bob Bob. R- loads of old bobbins is rubbish. Okay. Manchester. Okay, so he's bobbin of cotton rotten. Um. Um. 
a little special snum- someone your snoozle. Sorry? I don't like that. That's horrible. Straight person's written that. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> oh, no. What? A bob is a blackout bitch. <laughs> someone who's really drunk. <laughs> if you're a blackout drunk, if you're a blackout bitch. Yeah. And you, you're bobbing. I see. Okay. That, that's where the... Okay. Um, the act of smoking weed. So I think something. it's just like a silly person then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, a greedy bitch. Also, we should say the animation style changes dramatically. Well, this is shadow puppetry. It's horrible. This is... Um, so it, it's a little punk. He's got a little mohawk. Yeah. But you only see like... And maybe him. piercings? Yeah. It's a silhouette because yes. it's a shadow puppet. And he eats a, a load of animals. He eats... He starts with a camel, camel. then a calf. They look Identical. identical. <laughs> The calf has humps. And then he eats the other half. I'm like, the other half of what, please? I think the calf. But they didn't specify they only ate half the calf in the first place. No. God, the story writing in this is atrocious. (laughs) Then he eats a dog and a cat, Mm -hmm. then a subway rat. rat. Uh, The kettle, the plug, Uh the hallway rug. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm still not full. It's also so slow. Yeah. It's just, it's really sinister. And they're all like, full, like... Yeah. He's not chopped them up to eat them. They're full size. Do you remember the old lady that swallowed a fly? Yeah. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Very those vibes. (laughs) Those vibes, but like, not as good. No. Um, And Um, he's like, I'm going to have a jelly. Yeah, and that's too much for him. Like Mr. Creosote. What? In Monty Python. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he one of the good ones? Yeah, he's one of the good ones. Terry Terry Gilliam in We Don't Stand. No, we don't. We don't stand John Cleese. No, we don't. Eric Idle is a lovely man, apparently. Eric Idle and Michael Palin. Uh, He's just going around the world. I saw him in an interview and he, like, I, I saw him, like, live in discussion with yeah. Michael Palin. And he, he just took some time out to say how um, people call something he did anti-feminist and it's not actually. He's a very good feminist. And I was like, all right, Michael. And then, Who are you to judge? He was also like... <laughs> Bad feminist Caitlin Bell. Yeah, fuck it up. No, but he... You know how all... Bad feminist Michael Palin. All, yeah. All women in Monty Python are played by them doing stupid voices. Yes. He all. said, well, we couldn't find a woman who would be as funny as that. Yeah. The only people... The only actual women in Monty Python exist there to just have boobs. Yeah. So I don't know why he's trying to be a feminist now, because <clears throat> Monty Python's not feminist. No. But Graham Chapman was gay. Okay. <laughs> so we, he's one of the better ones. Mm-hmm. And Terry Jones. Yeah. Terry Jones also wrote Labyrinth, I believe. Did he? Yeah. Love that. I lo- see Terry. Hello, Gilliam's, Sarah. I love Terry Gilliam's films, like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. One of my favorite films. Brothers Grimm. I used to love that one. Oh, Brazil yeah. Mental. Yeah. Who is? Is it? It's not Catherine Hepburn in that, is it? Who is it? Who's the one with the face? I the just, stretchy face. I think it might be. I just remember Michael Palin and his baby face. I was oh. it for a long time. And there was Dr. Parnassus, wasn't there? Yeah. We if just, you haven't seen dying. Brazil, it is one of the weirdest films ever. Oh, was it Gloria? I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know. It's also written by Tom Stoppard. Oh, oh but it's got Jonathan Price in. What's wrong with Jonathan Price? Who's that? Jonathan Price uh, is an actor. Uh, he was in, he's just in The Two Popes. Mm-hmm. And was he in The Wife? I don't know. But the issue is that he was in Miss Saigon. Okay. I don't know what that is. Miss Saigon is set in Vietnam. The Vietnam yeah. yeah. Um, and he plays a Vietnamese man. Uh, and he is white. What? Yeah. When was it written? Um, Actually, no, it, it was after Vietnam, so... 1991. What? It's when he won this Tony Award for it. What? He was awarded for it as well. Does he... Does he do a voice? I don't remember. He definitely has darker foundation oh. and eyeliner. No. No. Yeah. <gasps> That's awful. Yeah. Tony Awards. So you get a Tony for it? Yeah. Get it to... Well, that's theatre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and he, they, they were like, there just wasn't anyone... No ...that one. was good enough to play the role. Uh. Even though in... The cast at the time uh-huh. was someone who went on to play that role in the revival. Oh, fucking hell. Who's... Did he get awarded a Tony? I don't think he did. Well, I don't think well. he even got nominated for it. Huh. Which is absolutely despicable. John John Briones. John John Briones. We love him. That's a great name. It's quite fit as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, this bullshit. <laughs> oh, this bloody Robin the Bobbin. Yeah. He eats his jelly. Yeah. And, and then he, he throws, throws it all up. up. 
But it's whole, don't worry. Otherwise, that would have been... Everyone's still alive. Worse. Yeah. Or is it... Mm, I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, they've probably be quite harrowed. That yeah. Cow, camel the calf and the half and mm-hmm. the cat rat. The, the, the cattle and the plug half. are probably fine. Yeah, they'll get through. And the rug might be all right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and that's just the end of the story. And they're like, bye! And it's like, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't just end on that. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. I didn't like it. It was so sinister. And then I was like, was it worth it? No. Getting all these... <laughs> Puppets made. So much effort. Like, this may have been before laser cutters. <laughs> had to, Probably like, was, yeah. Cut this up, like, using a craft knife. Yeah. A scalpel. Mm. Not worth it. Not it's worth not it worth all. the production values. Yeah. Of which there are a few. But... And they made the calf even more complicated than they needed to make it. Well, they just photocopied the camel. Oh, that's true. <laughs> cut it in half. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fucking and hell. then, yeah, they're like... Bye. Bye. We're done now. And we're like, what? It's like, oh, it's dawn. I'm like, it is quarter past 12. Yeah, and I'm having nightmares. <laughs> and then they just leave the books yeah. on the side. Yeah. The librarian comes back in. Mm-hmm. She's wearing the same outfit she left in. Mm-hmm. I'm like, good for you. Yeah. Dirty stop out. Have it. Yeah. Love it for you. We love it. And she's also like, where the fuck have these books come from? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I'll put them on the shelf. Yeah. And I'm like, this must happen every night. Yeah. It's haunted. You would kind of have some kind of qualms. Yeah. You'd be like, mm, maybe there's a criminal. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is. It's Danny John Jules. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Be really good. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That was yeah. the end. Um, did it make you queer? Um, I mean, the Danny's wink. Suit. Danny's wink. Danny's suit. <laughs> the suit and the wink. Yeah. The, it's a lovely queer time. Um, yeah, Danny's straight, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Blue cow. Yes. She's camp. Yeah. And then sinister puppetry. <laughs> I did like Jelly and Jackson. Mm-hmm. Jackson, well, Jackson's, we assume, a boy. Mm-hmm. And he's bright pink. Yeah. Love that for him. James and non-conforming Jackson. Smashing it. Yeah. And Jelly is annoying. Jelly's a bit of a dickhead, to yeah. be fair. <laughs> no offence, Jelly. Like, I don't want to... <laughs> like, I know she's the only woman in it, but... but no, librarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's a feminist icon. <laughs> Sex positive librarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she also has no lines no. and no agency. No. Look, she put some books back. <laughs> She's tidying up. Oh no. <laughs> She's cleaning. <laughs> then all the children come in and read about fucking jam. Mm. Right, if I went to a library and I picked up a book, yeah. and it was like, here's a boy going to pick your own, <laughs> I'd be like, all right. uh, can I have the money that I haven't paid for this back, please? <laughs> can I'm you like, pay me I want to my read taxes this. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it camp? A little bit camp. A little bit camp. camp. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and the, the suit. The suit. So camp. Was it flared? Probably. Oh, we love to see it. <laughs> so, that's the end of the show. That's, the end that's, of the that's, that's yeah. it. That's, yeah. what's, that's done on that. Yeah. Um, you're welcome if you requested it. <laughs> okay. Are you? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, so you can follow Quiz Gone By at Quiz Gone By on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me at Kate Butch One on both. And you can follow me at... Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Stop it. Imagine that your social media was streamlined. <laughs> one day I'll do it. I'm trying to work out what would be a good one. At Caitlin Powell Gigs. Comedy. At Caitlin Powell... Bad feminist Caitlin Powell. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> At berries and beans. I've said I can't make them both at Caitlin Powell because there's a girl in Massachusetts who's a horse girl. Horse girl. Who uses, like, every social media platform she's got it and doesn't use it. Horse girl summer. Horse, horse girl, girl summer. summer. I hope you're Horse ready. girl summer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you can follow me at Caitlin PWLL on Twitter and Caitlin R. Powell on Instagram. You can find at Caitlin Powell. Give her a follow. Yeah. She deserves Please, it. Please, everyone follow Caitlin Powell and <laughs> message her telling her to give me her account. If you want to also get at Kate Butch without the one, someone's got at Kate Butch. Who's no, not No Kate profile Butch. picture. But no who's tweets. not Kate Butch? Who's not me? No. no, but... Oh, no, wait. You're named after Kate Bush, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> the Kate Butch. <laughs> Lol. But, anyway. So follow I'm gonna, us. Uh, leave a review. Yes. Um, I'm gonna wheel Race the car. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna chomp some Kinder Egg. Yep. Tell a friend. Yeah. Um, tell an enemy. Tell Daddy John Jules. Yes. Maybe don't. <laughs> no, we definitely have. What's it called? Not perjured ourselves. Slandered his name. We have. Well, well nothing that's not 
Because it's not true. Right. Um, well. Bye bye. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> broom broom. <gasps> Brum. Brum.